You're probably saying, what is this food stuff doing here? It's the Last Supper. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have different thoughts, as you probably can tell. A lot of people come to me and they think that they're going to try to lose weight by not eating. How many of you have tried that before? Yeah, it's called a diet. And I've discovered that it just doesn't work. I, I think that a lot of people come to me for lots of other reasons, like they want to have energy. And if you don't eat, do you think you have energy? No. And so we're going to do things a little bit differently. Let me do this. The people in the back row, if you guys would, come on up and sit over here so you get a little closer, because that way I don't have to transmit my voice. Come on. I don't bite the people in the front rows or anything. Plus, you're closer to the food when we have a break. We can eat some more then. Let me ask you this. How many of you guys are here because a friend has sent you here? Referral base. So pretty much most people. You haven't seen me on TV or anything like that in an infomercial. But I like that because some of the stuff I'm going to say today, you're going to say, no way, that's not going to be me. It's not going to work for me like that. But you're in for a treat, I think, because it will work for you. You're not oddballs. The people, there's no one oddball out. When we give this talk, one of my goals is for you to be comfortable. And so to get started, you've got to promise me you're going to be comfortable. So if your back hurts you, stand up. I can keep talking. If you eat and drink fluids, I want you to do that. I want you to be comfortable with that. It's like my house. Go to the restroom then if you have to. There's one in this room here, two down that hallway over there. And so I just talked louder during that time period so you guys still hear me. I also want you to participate. You have a lot of experience behind you. Some of you have tried medication. Some of you haven't. Some of you have tried certain diets. Some of you didn't. And other people around you would learn from that. That's called experience. Instead of learning it all the first time, take the advice of other people around you sometimes. And so I'm going to ask you to participate, like say yes or no, or like you guys raised your hand. And I'll ask questions. And even if you're wrong, who cares? <laughs> you know. But I want you to participate because if you listen actively, you remember a lot more. If you're sitting there thinking, man, I wonder when we're going to get the sandwiches again, <laughs> or I wonder when I got dinner coming on, you know, I got to go eat, you know, then you won't remember as much. And I want you to retain more because one of the goals with this talk is to start changing you immediately. You guys are here for what reason? What brings you here? Lose weight. Lose weight. And in fact, that's the easy answer. And I used to, I've done this now about eight years. And when I started out doing this, I thought this too. So I was thinking of all these different ways to lose weight. What can we eat? What crap can you drink? You know, How do we get people to lose weight? And then I started realizing that's not why people are here. People are here because they don't like how they feel. You got to the outskirts of your closet and you said no more. You hit something painful. And what I've discovered, the number one motivating force in all of us, you and me alike, is to avoid pain. And if people are in pain, they'll do something. You're not here because you heard this was a great talk or we have free food. You're here because you want, you don't like how you feel. You got to the outskirts of your closet, you said no more. Or your knees hurt you and a doctor said if you lose weight, it doesn't hurt anymore. Or you have high blood pressure or someone looked at you funny. Or you got a wedding coming up. Or you got a reunion to go to. You saw yourself in that outfit and you said no way. Does that make sense? You want to change the state you're in that you don't like. The number one reason people come to me to avoid what pain they have is the lack of energy. How many of you would like more energy? Look at that. Yeah, 95% of people come to me. So yeah, losing weight's great, but what if you lost all the weight and you felt like crap and you felt tired? That wouldn't be good. So I devised a program, and all of you have a handout. Let me see. Oh, put this down. You can't read this so well. We're going to have to make it bigger. But it says outcome-based, four-pronged approach. It's an outcome-based program, not weight loss-based. And you guys all have this so you can follow along with me. But what it comes down to is what do you really want to feel like? If you want to have energy, if you want to feel sexy. See, a lot of people don't feel good today. You don't feel sexy. You don't feel energy. You don't feel powerful or confident. That's what 120 represents. That's what 150 represents. It's much like making a million dollars. Everyone wants a million dollars, don't you? But when you get it, you say, I thought I should have been happy. You realize then the money doesn't make you happy. It's some state that you want to attain. It's happiness. It's fulfillment. And so you've got to let me know what you're really after. And if you're after feeling like crap and being depressed and being tired, then let's go starve ourselves and not eat and feel crummy and get tired. Every I can devise a program like that. 
But if you said, no, no, I want to feel awesome, then we got to devise it differently. For instance, you got to eat. You got to drink fluids. You can't starve yourself. This Atkins, how many of you have tried Atkins diet? Number of people. Gained weight. <laughs> Gained weight on it. Women hate Atkins diet. My wife, Wendy, she's on the list. She got me into this. I did family practice for like, I trained in 87 to 90 at St. Vincent's in northern Indianapolis. And I thought I knew a lot about a lot of disease states. I knew about high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, arthritis. I could do a lot of that stuff. Got board certified in that. I actually went into emergency medicine at that point, though, and I did eight years of ER. When I was a family doctor, one in three people were over obese. Probably about 50% were overweight. I went into emergency medicine, over 50% of people were obese. And they weren't, I wasn't treating high blood pressure, diabetes. I was treating heart attacks, strokes, blood clots, really bad stuff, cancer, and it's all related to their weight. And so it was one of those things that we had to figure out, what am I supposed to say to people? What do they do? And I start realizing if something's painful, you will quit. My wife couldn't follow an Atkins diet. And so if women are different than men, aren't you? <laughs> More ways than one. One of those is because you like carbohydrates. Men aren't carbohydrate cravers. I mean, give a man a steak. Give him eggs and bacon, man, he's in heaven. Tell my wife she can have bacon and eggs. Who cares? She wants Long's Donuts, you know. <laughs> she wants uh, cookies. In fact, Wendy used to make like a dozen cookies. And when she would make a dozen cookies, she'd eat three cookies at bedtime. She'd wake up about three in the morning, unbeknownst to me. And the cookies would be gone. There'd only be like six left. And I'd wake up in the morning and I'd say, like, who broke into the house? We have thieves, you know? That was painful, though. I only said that one time. I, I learned fast. And, and I realized Wendy felt terrible. She, like, tried so hard. I don't want it. I don't want it. But her brain kept saying, it's painful to push away. It was pleasurable to eat. The number two motivating force is to seek pleasure. And so it's, if it's pleasurable to eat something and it's painful to push away, she can never win. It worked against her motivationally. And so you can't win at that. Well, I figured out that then Atkins, if she can only do it for an hour, do you think it's going to succeed? No? Yes? <laughs> right. No, it won't succeed. And so that's not the answer. In fact, if you went to a doctor, how many of you have gone to a doctor for weight loss advice? Number of people. What's your name? Carla, Carla went to a doctor. What did the doctor say? Have a thousand calories a day. So eat less. eat less. She said a thousand calories a day. So eat less, and what else? Drink a lot of water. So increase your fluids. Anything else? Exercise. The E word, <laughs> evil, <laughs> exercise. And so he said that would be $50, right? <laughs> Great words of wisdom. Like he didn't know that. You know, does any of you, is that magic? Right, yeah, no. But the bottom line is, how many of you have tried dieting five times in your life? Raise your hand. Keep it up. If it's 10 times, 20 times, 30, it's like an auction, 30, 30, 30, 30. <laughs> we actually have some professional dieters here, don't we? You've never stopped. I have people that have come to me and they're constantly dieting, but why are they here? Does it work short term? Do you lose weight if you diet? If I lock these doors for a month, I, I leave. <laughs> You guys are all in here. We got a lot of food. Someone's going to take charge. Maybe Eddie is going to take charge and ration the food. I got water here so you don't die. We lock the doors and I come back a month later. Wouldn't you all be down? One of you, I probably have one leg left. You know? That would be the happy one because they lost more weight. <laughs> but for most people, that was painful to starve like that. I get you on the scale. I drag you, drop you. I say, look, you lost weight. I'm 100% successful. You say, but I didn't want to do it that way. I feel terrible. And you never come back. You think this is crazy. But dieting does work. If you deprive yourself and eat low calories, you will lose weight. But the problem is, the average diet is so painful it lasts six weeks. Are any of you going to get to your goal in six weeks? No, no way. And so you go on and off, right? You get in pain, you diet. Then it's more painful to diet, you finally give up, and then the way it goes. It keeps happening. It's called yo-yoing. One of the challenges you have when you yo-yo is also it hurts your metabolic rate. You hurt your muscles.